Happy Valentine's Day. Welcome to my channel. Look what came back into stock. So many of you guys regretted not picking this up. Once it was out of stock, it really was out of stock. Pet McGrath has recently restocked this palette and I thought no better time to play with this. This is the Pat McGrath Lab Celestial Divinity Palette if you aren't familiar. Here's the dealio, the one that came out this past year, 2021 holiday. I really, really liked it. I think a Mothership Mega Palette is a great, great value, but I just didn't love the color story this year as to the year prior, which was this one. So in multiple videos, I told you guys how I just like this one better. Now, I can see a large majority of you liking the 2021 palette better than the 2020 palette, but for me, my color choices, all of that, I just prefer this one. So I'm really excited to see that it is back in stock. I got a couple requests if I could do a video creating another look with this. So that is what we are going to do. I want you to take a look. Now, the reason that I love this so much obviously is because there's a lot more purple tones in here which you know is kind of my thing. We also have some green tones, golden tones. This is a palette for me personally that I feel more comfortable to use making me that much more excited to pull this out again. So what I'm going to do I'm just going to actually do a fast forward of my base in case you want to see that. I'm going to watch some videos in the background. My computer's being weird so I'm like trying to monitor that at the same time and then when we get to the color products on the face i'll take you along with me feel free to use a time stance if you just don't care here we go So with today being Valentine's Day, I opted to do a Valentine's Day look with this palette. And I'm really excited because actually one of my favorite color combos is purple and red, just like I have going on. So I love this deep, vampy, kind of sexy Valentine's Day inspired eyes. So the concealer that I used today, if you watched the beginning, was the one size concealer. I'm just gonna go ahead and use that as my base. It works good as a base, I like it a lot. Now if you're new to this palette, a couple of years ago, Pat McGrath actually launched a Star Wars collection that sold out within like 10 minutes. And in that collection, there were two six pan eyeshadow palettes. Both of those eyeshadow palettes are in this palette. Like not many people got the Star Wars collection. So I'm really excited that she did that. And I'm still loving this palette so, so much. The first shade that I'm going to go into is this one right here. I'm just using a Kleidos S2 brush. And this palette, just like the one from this year, only has three mattes. But I much prefer the mattes in this one. I feel like the mattes in the one that came out for the 2021 holiday season were limiting to the other colors that she had in shimmer form. With these mattes, I feel like they really come complement the more colorful tones better. I don't know. I'm like one of the few that prefers the 2020 palette over the 2021 palette. I just, I love this palette so much. It's great. And I've been asked, Morgan, when is your Pat McGrath rankings going to come? I have it filmed. I have it edited. I have it uploaded. I have it scheduled to go up during the two weeks that I won't have my makeup with me when I'm moving, when they'll be in the hands of the movers. So that's why it's not up yet, but it's been done filmed, okay? <laughs> Using a BK Beauty 202 brush, we're going into this shade right here. This is like a cranberry purple shade right here. It's perfect for the look that we're going to do today. And I'm just gonna place it in the outer corner to start. Then I'm gonna run it along the lower lash line as well. And 
We're going to blend that inwards and then make sure everything looks really diffused and pretty. And I'm gonna give you a hint to my rankings. This one ranks towards the top, which is why <laughs> I'm doing a whole video dedicated to this palette because if you can get your hands on it and you like the color story, so good. The outer corner, I'm gonna use this shade right here. Because it's not a matte, I'm gonna be careful. So I'm gonna actually pack it on with a shader brush. This shade is a little bit difficult to use in the style that I'm using it. It's messy. But with Pat McGrath eyeshadows, they don't normally stick to the face when there's fallout. I'm risking it because I'm lazy. Oh, I got some powder in my eye. It'll come out. So I'm starting off with, with that. And now I'm going into a blending brush. And I'm going to blend this into the look. Doesn't this just look incredible? Okay, just leave the fallout. For Valentine's Day, I had to put this all over the lid. Take a look. So it's just going everywhere. You see how pretty that is? It's not the softest or creamiest shimmer, I would say. At least two years later, it's not in my palette. But she's still very pigmented. And do you see just how pretty this kind of shade looks against plums? One of my favorite color combos with eyeshadows, always. I'm actually going to go in with an Esum W21. I'm going to build up more of the red to get a little bit more precise in this area where my fingers, I find, don't reach as well. I'm going to take a blending brush and soften these edges. And then I want to make sure we have enough purple. So I'm just going to go in, make sure everything is blended. This eye, second eye, always looks better. I know it looks messy right now, but do you see that? Ah, I love it. Okay, we are not done yet though, as you know. So for the inner corner color, I'm taking this with a pencil brush. This is a really pretty light pink that's gonna help with the Valentine's Day theme right here. Normally I would use a lighter color than this, but with Valentine's Day, I thought it'd be fun. Next up, we're gonna take this color right here with a small brush like this. Just taking that and coating that, and I'm gonna pop this like a grape soda color, the inner corner of the lower lash line. How pretty is that? And then one more thing, I'm going back into the red shade and I'm gonna put this in the center of my eyelid to carry the warm tones down here. Taking my brush, wiping away the excess. That dark purple did us a little dirty, not gonna lie. We can fix that though. I'm gonna go in with a little extra concealer. If this ever happens to you, and it happens to me all the time because I am so lazy and prefer to do <laughs> my eye makeup after my face makeup, I'm gonna take my sponge that I blended out my concealer with and I'm just going to clean up in this area. And sometimes if that's not enough, I'll even put a little bit of extra concealer on that sponge and blend it out. Just kind of relayer. You only want a little bit though because texture could get funky if you add too much, but this helps. So as far as reaching into this palette goes, we are done with this. If you couldn't tell, I love it. This is just one of the few beautiful looks that you can get with this. You can go warm, you can go earthy toned right here with the brown and the orange. It's much more versatile than you probably would believe it to be and can be more wearable as well. Huge advocate for this, I'm so excited. So if you are interested, it will be linked down below for you guys if you wish to shop through my affiliate links. Let's continue with the look though. I do wanna add some color products to my face. I didn't pick any other makeup that I'm wearing for any rhyme or reason, honestly. I just picked items that I felt like using. So to bronze, I picked out my good old Soleil Ton de Chanel. This is the old formulation, unfortunately, for those of you who can't get your hands on it anymore. Um, I'm thinking though this actually might be too warm for what I am doing for this look, so I'm gonna put this back. See, it's just too warm. Let me get something a little bit more intense. Yeah, so I actually think I want something a little bit more sculpted and unnatural because our eye makeup is pretty unnatural today. So I'm gonna carry that over to my face so that it can be seen. So I'm gonna start off with the darker color. This is a Sigma F44 brush. And that darker color, this is more cool, a little bit more contoury. I'm putting right where I want the most sculpt. So that's gonna be under the chin for me. And then right in the hollows of those cheekbones, maybe slightly above. And then I'm gonna go into the warmer shade just to get the outsides of my face. Just like that, really nice. For blush, I'm testing out the rest of the new Rare Beauty colors that came out. This is their dewy formulation. And they came out with these gorgeous 
gorgeous, gorgeous rose toned blushes. I'm playing with all the colors before I give you my final, final thoughts on these in an updates video. So we're gonna use Believe. This one has like some mauviness to it, which I think is gonna be really beautiful for today. So I'm just gonna do two little dots. Probably even that was too much. Grabbing a synthetic brush, this is a Morphe M536. I've been using it lately to spread out my foundation and then I go in with a sponge to push it in. Okay, I'm gonna put excess product on the back of my hand because we have a lot of excess product. I always forget how pigmented these are. Now what is great about this Rare Beauty blush is how it goes good over powder. Do you see that? Great blush formulation here. And it gives a nice dewy, healthy finish. Ooh, I'm happy we chose to go with this color. It looks great with this makeup. Get a little bit on the nose. Like this looks unblended, so I'm gonna blend it. How pretty does that look? It left such a pretty skin-like glow to the skin. I have very much been enjoying the new colors from Rare. I haven't picked out a highlight yet. For highlight, definitely wanted to do something more pink given that this is a little Valentine's Day tutorial. So I'm gonna use this Dior Forever Highlight in the shade Pink Glow. Love, love, love this highlight formulation. I think it is so beautiful. Lately, I've gotten back into fan brushes. These really were a thing of past YouTube but I think with the softer highlight coming more in style, this is great for those more intense highlights that you have to really soften them. I'm using a Wayne Goss number 15 for this. So don't throw your fan brushes away. There was at one point a time that I was doing that because I was like, what even is the point of these brushes? But I'm back into them now and you can use like the corner to get a little bit more precise areas. Stunning. I'm gonna take a pencil brush and pop it right on top of my inner corner color just to kind of brighten it up because I feel like the look could use a little bit more brightness. Before we do liner and lashes, I do want to spray my face to settle everything in. Lately, I've been testing the Stay All Day Blue Light Micro Setting Mist thing <laughs> from e.l.f. No reason in particular, I've just been enjoying it. While this dries, let me go pick out my lashes. I am always into a waterline color that matches the look. So I put out the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in Cherry Pie. They had a cherry collection come out this summer and that's where I got this from. I'm just running this as you can see on my waterline. I know sometimes reds can make the eyes look very irritated in the waterline, but I like it for this look. <laughs> And then my current favorite drugstore eyeliner, the Revlon Color Stay Sharp Line. I'm gonna give myself a nice wing. Y'all know I cannot talk to you while I do this. So yeah, give me a moment. We got the wings. I am going to pull in the REM Beauty Lengthening Mascara. I like this mascara. I won't repurchase it again, but I like it. <laughs> so let me pop this on the lashes. Now for eyelashes, I think I'm gonna pull out Lily Lashes Trophy Wife. You can't get these anymore, they're an older style. It's gonna take me a while to put them on. And then once they're on, I'm gonna pick out lip colors and we'll do the lips on camera and boom, we'll be done. It's so pretty, I'm not surprised. <laughs> so let's get into the lips. I put out some random products, so we'll see how it goes. But we're gonna start off with this lip liner. This is from Mel, it's the Precision Lip Ultra Precision Pencil in Esperanza. So I'm gonna line my lips with this. It's kind of hot pink. I was hoping it would be more red. I don't know, it looked more red to me. This is clearly not red. Hold on. <laughs> okay, I grabbed some of an oldie but a goodie, ColourPop Overtime. It's kind of mixing in with this pink really cute. Okay, and then I actually am gonna make sure I fill in the lips with this. And then over top, I'm still trying to figure out these e.l.f. glossy lip stains. I have mine in the shade Pinkies Up. Does this look pink to you? No, these are so weird. The colors are so off. I don't even mind the formula. The formula is fine, but I hate the colors. They don't look good and they are not what they claim for them to be. But honestly, on top of this lip liner, it wasn't a poor choice. I also pulled this Laura Mercier lip gloss. What are you? You are in the shade tulip. I thought it would be nice to bring out the tones of that transition color that we started off with. I mean, it's a gloss. It's not going to do too much. Mmm, I've never used this before. This smells like a vanilla cupcake. Honestly, I feel like that added something. Might not be much. Totally did. Okay. I like this lip with this look. 
Might not be perfect, but it screams Valentine's Day to me. Okay, give me a moment. Let me put myself together and I will be back. Guys, this is a Valentine's Day look. <gasps> I'm so happy it came out this way. I really love the way that the look turned out. So, um, yeah, basically I'm, I've just spent this entire video trying to sell the Celestial <laughs> Divinity palette to you if you like the colors. If you don't think you're going to wear the colors, of course you don't need it. Uh, but if this is a palette that you're kind of on the fence on and you wanted a little push, I'm pushing you, girl. I am pushing you. I love this one. Like I said, it's one of my favorite pa palettes. And just knowing that it really like wasn't available for such a long time and a lot of you guys are new Pat McGrath fans. The fact that it's available now makes me excited as Pat McGrath lover and educator. Anyways, I am filming this on Sunday, so it is Super Bowl Sunday, 5.40. We are about 45 minutes out from game time. Not that I care about football. I don't really watch it, but the pizza and the commercials is what I'm all about. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, creating a look with me, and I will see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.